Amen. That nice little solo from a member of our choir. We're just pleased to have everybody here. Welcome to the house of the Lord this morning. We're glad you all are here. Let us worship God by beginning it with the passing of the peace to one another with these words. Peace be with you for the second Sunday of Easter. This is the second Sunday of Easter following Easter Resurrection Sunday. Let's pass the peace to one another at this time. everybody let's kind of find your way back to your seats find your way back to your seats any announcements that need to be made how do you want to let them know we're going to do a community prayer at this time Ida. you want to let them know or just do it Okay. All right, let's open our hymnals to number 551. O to be O to be like thee. Please stand for our opening hymn. O to be like thee. Be like thee, full of 
compassion, loving, forgiving, tender and kind, helping the helpless, cheering the fainting, seeking the wandering sinner to find. Oh, to be like thee, oh, to be like thee, blessed Redeemer, pure as thou art. Come in thou sweetness, come in thou fullness, Stamp down on image deep on my heart. Oh, to be like why I am pleading, pour out thou spirit, fill with thy love, make me a tent. Meet for thou dwelling, fit me for life and heaven above. Oh, to be like thee, oh, to be like thee, blessed Redeemer, pure as thou art. Come in thou sweetness, come in thou fullness, stamp down on it. You may be seated. And we pray together our prayer of confession. Together. God, our fears and prejudice run deep. Sometimes we can only see our own point of view. We stick with those who are like us, rarely venturing outside our comfort zones. We do not hear those crying for justice and peace. We blame those who are suffering in need instead of standing by them. We deny the power of your gospel to unite us with those who are different from us. Lord, give us eyes to see and ears to hear. Open us to new possibilities of life for all your people and use us to enact the new life given in Christ. Amen. Moment of silent confession. God's life-giving word and spirit conquers the powers of sin and death. Thanks be to God for the good news. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven, and the church said, Amen. Let the children come for our children's sermon. Good morning. Where's all those children that were here last Sunday? <laughs> anyway, we're glad you all are here. One of the things that I used to hate to do when I was a kid, that was take a bath. <laughs> How many of you like taking baths? 
<laughs> How many of y'all like taking baths? But from time to time, we all need to take a shower or a bath. And when we do, we get clean. We get the dirt washed off. If we've been out camping or been out snowboarding or playing in the snow or playing in the, in the, in the sun or whatever, we need to take a bath sometimes and get cleaner and wash away the dirt. But Jesus provides us with another way to be clean. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's, he provides us with a way of becoming pure. And he helps us wash away our sins. And so, when we look upon Jesus' face, he helps us to become pure and cleaner by helping us have a cleaner heart. So we want a cleaner heart. May you say I? I. Louder I, I. want I. a cleaner I. and a purer heart. heart. Yes, Jesus can make that happen. I want you all to know. Congregation, I, I. want a cleaner and a pure heart. heart. I want you to know Jesus can make that happen. He can wash away all sin. And last Sunday, he did just that. So all you have to do now is turn to him and your sins will be washed away. And the church said, thank you. You may return to your seats. Four volunteers, two young people and two deacons, if two deacons are here. Yes, you can come. You have to go to the back of the church and come forward. Yes. Yeah, just go to the back. You gotta be fast to catch up with those young ladies there now. All right. Well, you, now you come forward. Come forward, side by side. Very good, thank you. Good to see you too. And they go, you're gonna follow these young men, oops, follow these young men's suggestion, okay? Let us pray. Lord, we thank you, you need to hold it. Yeah, you're gonna go around and collect the money from the people in the pews. Lord, we thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for these two young ladies who volunteered to take their offering this morning. We thank you for those who will be giving in this offering, allowed to be used for the uplifting of your kingdom and to your glory. Amen. Amen. Right, you may start.
Please stand. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise Him, all creatures here below. Praise Him, all of the heavenly host. Thank you. Praise Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Amen. You may be seated. Our elder suggested a community prayer this morning is in, in this slot where it says prayer of the people and for the people, followed by the Lord's Prayer. We're going to let them come and lead that effort. Ida and who else? Do you need um, a microphone? Okay. Thank you for this beautiful day. Lord, we ask that you care for us and watch over us throughout the day. Thank you for your care and your blessings that you've provided all through the year, Lord. And we ask that you Hear our prayers. You placed us here on this part of the world. You provide all the animals that we need for our sustenance, for our livelihood. God, we ask that you open up the water for the migrating whales to be close by the whalers who are down there waiting patiently. God, we thank you for the blessings that you provide. In Jesus' name. Of the air, animals on the land, for our 
He created us. He created all of us. It's like you say, take care of our sheep when we're down there. Apa, come on, I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able Come and knock to the little bit, Heavenly Father. Yahweh say, when you want, we well, will pray to the good Lord of mercy on us. Like you say, take care of our sheep, we take care of our sheep. Like you say in the garden of the ocean, touch your garden, touch your eyes. Little bit, little bit, little bit, what would you like? I'm going to go to the little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit. For so the pack me glow out to the bit on the door. I'm going to look to it. For so the pack me glow out to the loot. What would you look? To pick near to a tar. Down with tar, I am near an army with tar, Kanuda. I will not worship the pack me glue piluta. I will the father. Name, amen.
people and, and care in the hospital and other places. So especially Lord of remembering the whales out on a dangerous condition in the ice. And the whales uh, there, there, there are whales who are giving themselves to this community. And ask your blessing on the ice to open up in such a way that that can happen. And keep everyone safe. In guffing and gathering in all the words that have been said and all the thoughts of which you know that comes from our heart, particularly for our community and those who are seeking to serve and to share and to gather the food that the community needs to sustain itself over time. And all those who have been sick and who are sick and those who need comforting in this hour. We thank you for these beautiful days that we've experienced. Each and every one continue to bless the entire community and continue to provide for our every need. As we pray together, the prayer you taught us to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Hear our prayer. O oh Lord, hear our prayer, O oh Lord. Incline thine ears to us and grant us thy peace. Oh. May be seated. We thank those of you who prayed and those of you who prayed silently at your seats. Prayer never stops. Prayer is always ongoing for ourselves, for our families, and for our communities. Our Old Testament lesson this morning comes from the book of Psalms, the 12th chapter. Please turn with me in your pew Bibles, page 850, page 851, 851. Those of you who have your own Bibles, Psalms, the 12th chapter, verses 1 through 6. Help, Lord, for the godly are no more. The faithful have vanished from among men. Everyone lies to his neighbor. Their flattering lips speak with deception. May the Lord cut off all flattering lips and every boastful tongue that says we would triumph with our tongues. We own our lips. Who is our master? Because of the oppression of the weak and the groaning of the needy, I will not arise, says the Lord. I will protect them from those who malign them. And the words of the Lord are flawless, like silver refined in a furnace of clay purified seven times. The word of God for the people of God, thanks be to God. 
Please stand, 382, come Holy Spirit. children come sight to the blind come Lord as strength to my weakness take me so body and mind come Holy Spirit I need you, come sweet spirit, I pray, come in your strength and your power, come in your gentle way, come as a rest to the weary come as a balm for the soul come as a dew to my dryness fill me with joy evermore Come, Holy Spirit, I need you. Come, sweet Spirit, I pray. Come, in your strength and your power. Come, in your own special way. Come like a spring in the desert. Come to the wither of soul. Oh, let the sweet healing power touch me and make me whole. Spirit, I need you. Come, sweet Spirit, I pray. Come in your strength and your power. Come in your gentle way. Be seated. Good morning. Rag Ipseria Paula, Rag Ipseria Sion Evangelu, Vesiwa Kefitu. Makaya Kihonofaka Ofo, or Ofa Kofaki Mai Eta Mai. He Koifai Kewikita Tolu, Koifa now, I Otwa. Aya foki ko tau iai ko hono uhi nga ia o ikai ke ilo ki tau tolu e maman ko uhi na ikai te nau ilo a ene afio si ofa anga na mo eni ko fa nau ai o tua a ki tau tolu pe ko te eki si fa ka ha mai pe ko ha te ta hoko ki ai amui o tau ilo pe ka toki fa ka ha ia te tau ta tau mo ene afio. He te tau mamata ki a teia i honoanga tonu. Pia koi a kotoa pe o ku ia i ai amanaki ko eni tuu i he ene afio. O kune whakamaa e ia ia o hange o ku maa a ene afio. Koi a kotoa pe o ku whaianga hala 
opune mau mau fopi ai lao io koe anga hala koe mau mau lao ia pe aku mau ilo na fakai amai ia ene afio kene ave ai nga hia anga hala pe aku ikai ha anga hala ia te ia koe ia koto ape aku no fo ma au ihene afio aku ikai ia ene fai anga hala koe ia koto ape aku anga hala ko te eki tene ma mata ki he ene afio uma aha an ilo i mo on ia Si fa nau ki eu an a ta ki he i ki mau tolu e hataha ko ia o ki fai ma on oni ko i ma on oni ia o hange foki o ki ma on oni a e ne afio amen amen Mumik Sanin, First John three, two to seven. Pivita Rosi, Pangma Pak Kadim, Merlek to Gigati Good, Salak Kinga Chok Suli, Sunyak Tilakput, Agilan, Ilisimur Good Christ, Salak Kekpan, Ilinyak to Good Ilatun, Kanok, Tautung Nearikut, Idusiatun. Asi ingi payak kinyu matikak tuak Christmik pilu tarinyak tuaguruk in minik Christun pilu tai chotun ingi payak pilu sekiruak pitkura pitkurai yakto kanok piluun kamaki ngirutaruk pitkuranik ilisimarusi Christ salap ngatilanganik. Piriah lugich piliuti wut, asi ila piliuta chok. Kinyalika atau singo katanga ruak Christ moon, piliusi kiwa ngichok. Asi inyuk piliusi kiwa tuak, tautunga chok ilanik. Ilichuri ngai kalo, kangani. Mihlik tu rat inyung moon. Saglukip ka na si inyuk dalan ng ruo lekiwak tuak dalan ng ruo Christun dalan ng ruo tun kadim o kalungi. Same scripture from the New Testament in English from First John. Third chapter, verses two through seven. Please turn with me in your Bibles, the Pew Bibles, page nineteen o one, beginning at verse seven. Dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. He who does what is right. Is righteous, just as he is righteous. He who does what is sinful is of the devil, because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. And moving back up to verse 2, dear friends, now we are children of God, and what we will be has not yet been made known. But we know that when he appears, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself, just as he is pure. Everyone who sins breaks the law. In fact, sin is lawlessness. But you know that he appeared 
so that he might take away our sins. And in him is no sin. No one who lives in him keeps on sinning. No one who continues to sin has either seen him or known him. Back to dear children, do not let anyone lead you astray. He who does what is right is righteous, just as he is righteous. The word of God for the people of God. Now that we've been purified as a result of our Easter, the resurrection of Jesus Christ, opportunity abounds for us to live the life that Christ would have us live. But it brings a challenge. The scripture says, dear friends, we are children of God. Repeat after me, I, I am a child of God. And that results from what happened on last Sunday. The resurrection of Jesus Christ ensures our salvation. We don't have to think about it. We don't have to worry about it. It's done. But we do need to accept the fact that we are children of God. And when we turn to God, God is able to purify us so that we will be prepared. For when that day comes, we can be like him. Purification sounds like a challenging thing to do, but it's one of the easiest things to do after Jesus Christ died for our sins. We have only simply to turn to Jesus Christ and take him on as our Savior, and a transformation takes place. In the Church of God in Christ, they say, you put on the white and become white as snow. I don't know about the white as snow part. I think we Presbyterians believe that from time to time we slip back, better known as what? Backsliding. I mean, you say, I don't want to backslide. But this church was full last Sunday. <laughs> Where are they today? How easy it is to serve a convenient God. But God is not convenient. God is not available when we want him to be. In one way he is, but in another way he isn't. We have something to do with it. If we've been purified, if we have died to sin as Jesus did, on Calvary, then we too have an opportunity to live in Jesus Christ forever and ever. That's what Easter was all about. But it's a challenge. It challenges us to keep on keeping on. That's an old Southern expression that means don't start something that you're not going to finish. It's like out there in the ocean and you spot a well and you got to follow through. You got to do all the things that you need to do in order to bring it in. It's one thing to capture, it's one thing to strike the well, but it's another thing to get it to the shore. Somebody say amen. amen. Now y'all know I don't know what I'm talking about. Amen. <laughs> Sight unseen. But I believe what people tell me who are whaling captains, and that's what they tell me. It's one thing to strike a whale, they say. It's another thing to get it to the shore. And as with our trust in Jesus Christ, we can't do it what? Alone. We can't do it by ourselves. We need help. And that's what's important. But to be purified... That means to have our sins washed away. 
Let me hear you say, my sin have been washed away. Don't sound like it to me, sound like they're still there. <laughs> Let's try it again. My sins have been washed away. You can just see them going out. <laughs> now don't pick them back up. <laughs> At least for the day. If I can get through today, my sins have been washed away. Our text says, dear friends, now we are children of God. That now means after Easter, we're children of God. After our commitment, we're children of God. Following our repentance, we're children of God. When we start living right, we become children of God. He still hasn't let us know what we will be. God ain't finished with me yet. I mean, he said, God ain't finished with me yet. Some of you sound like God's through. God ain't finished with me yet. He's not, and thank God he's not. One of the things about living or making an effort to live a righteous life, there's always something I need to work on. There's always something I can work on. Pride, my ego, my arrogance, my self-centeredness, my wanting to be in control and in charge, wanting to run the show. Selfishness. I want what I want when I want it. But we know that when Christ appears, we will be like him. Christ appears in our life, and we want to be like him. We're not yet what we shall be, but we know one thing. We want to be what? Like Jesus. I want to be like Jesus. That's because we will see him as he really is. Christ is pure, the scripture says. And whether you know it or not, the challenge sometimes is for us to live a pure life. All who hope to be like him must make themselves pure, the scripture says. That means let that sin keep you what? Going out. A kindergarten teacher gave her class a show and tell. I didn't know what that was when I was growing up. Show and tell. My kids told me that's when you bring something to school to show with, with what the other kids have. Teacher gave them a show and tell assignment of bringing something to represent their religion. The first child got in front of the class and said, my name is Benjamin and I'm Jewish and this is the star David. He had drawn a big star. The second child got in front of the class and says, my name is Mary and I'm Catholic and this is a crucifix. She showed a crucifix. The third, the third child got in front of the class and, and it looked like an Anupian child. He says, my name is Tommy and I'm a Presbyterian. Would you like to have some muck tuck? <laughs> Our faith and cultures may seem to be the same, but there are differences. Here's our message for today. We become who God intended us to be when we see Christ for who he is and place our hopes in him. That little prayer we just did, how powerful. It's powerful because the prayers of the people avail us much. And when people surrender to God, this is not new by the way, as you well and captains know, you don't start out on your journey, cutting the path, cutting the trail, doing all the work that's necessary to harvest a well, you don't do it without prayer. You pray when you go out, you pray when you're out, and you pray when you're what? 
and you're coming in. And there are always prayers of gratitude. If you go out each day and you don't bring back a thing, you still do what? You pray. Because if you come back, it's something to be prayed about. You made it back safely. And that's always a blessing. So, to see God as he is, to see Christ as he is, and to hope. I'm not going to be long today. This begins a new series on transformation. The power to change. You ever thought about what it takes for a person to change? What is the ingredient? that goes into making a person want to do something different than what they've done before. Let's say I've been struggling all my life with a certain thing. Could be a substance, could be a relationship, it could be bad habits. I'm still struggling with the, <laughs> trying to control that diet. I went to the doctor this week. You know what that doctor told me? He told me, I don't know if it's just the Samuel Simmons Hospital or what, but he told me I needed to lose 60 pounds. <laughs> but I wasn't laughing when he said that. Can y'all see me 60 pounds less? <laughs> Somebody said, I like the fact that my pastor's big. <laughs> So I went to periodic, what's the name of it? The periodic. Y'all teach me the language now. I went over there and they told me, okay, first of all, you gotta bring cash. They ever told y'all that if you went over there? <laughs> I didn't know I wanted to sign up. And they got a sauna over there. They got workout machines. They got a beautiful gymnasium. I'd never been in the place. I think I had one time. And I'm gonna sign up. Now I ain't gonna tell y'all I'm gonna lose 60 pounds. I don't think Reverend Reed's gonna say that. But I but I I heard the doctor loud and clear. Change. Change. What does it take to change? What does it take to transform your life and become something different? What does it take to overcome your challenges, your difficulties? I, I don't want, I like that somebody said surrender. I don't want you to answer back to me, but have you ever tried to quit smoking? <laughs> don't answer. Boy, that is one of the hardest things in the world to do. I used to be a, nothing is worse than a, what they said, nothing is worse than a what? An ex-smoker. I'm an ex-smoker. But I try to have compassion on smokes, I really do. Because I was up to two packs a day and it was terrible. Hard for me to quit. I had to make a decision to stop. It was very difficult, very hard. Transformation, change. What is the ingredient that causes a person to give their life to Christ? What is the, the ingredient that causes a person to stop drinking and drugging? What is the ingredient that causes a person to repent, turn their life around, and go another way? I got a lot of people talking back to me. That's good. <laughs> That's good. But that's what we're going to be talking about in a series that we're going to do over the next several weeks. I hope you all come. I hope you tell other people about it. I'm going to do all the research. I'm going to find all the scriptures. I know one thing. The word surrender is going to be in there. I had to quit fighting. I had to give up. I had to let God take over my life. And when I was able to do that, I'm a different human being. I'm not what I'm going to be, but thank God I'm not what I used to be. 
Amen. Beginning next week, you get your first lesson. God bless. Let's stand and say what we believe. Together, I believe in God the Father Almighty, the maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Ghost, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Apostolus Pilate, was crucified, dead, and buried. He descended into hell. The third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From thence he shall come to judge the quick and the dead. I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Look into your bulletins. There is... How many stanzas, Esther? You got to help us with this song. that God is, a peace, a power, and a goodness that can keep us safe no matter our situation or conditions, that can bless our community in a thousand different ways. May that peace, that power, that goodness that God is go with you and be with those who are away from us until we meet again. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Say it again now. Amen. 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 Thank you. 